Hello, people of YouTube. How's it going? Welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I've seen you guys, or you've seen me, or since we've seen each other. And that's because I have been super, super busy, as I'm sure a lot of you have during this time of year. The holiday season is the busiest time for sellers. In fact, I've already been to the post office once this morning, right when they opened, to drop off like 50 packages. I'll throw a clip up of all the packages that I took out this morning. Now, all those things aren't mine. A lot of those are from my girlfriend's shop and she has actually started selling on a platform that I have no experience with and I bet a lot of you guys have no experience with either. And as you just saw, she is doing quite well over on the new platform. So we have been very busy around here and I just haven't had much time to really film. And obviously this is gonna be a vlog video so there's not gonna be much fancy editing going on. It's pretty much just gonna be me shooting from the hip. And here we are, the eBay room. As you can see, it looks a little bit different from last time you guys saw it. The shelves that were here, I broke down and added them onto the top to add more room. And I'm gonna get two more shelves to put right here to just kinda increase the amount of shelving space I have in here. So for right now, I have a few boxes on the ground. Anyways, let's start grabbing our eBay orders for the day. I'm gonna start by grabbing some of the clothing. Yep, the first item going out today is right here. It is this brand new with tags Andrew Luck jersey. This sold for $59. And then next, I've actually got another jersey, and this one's even better. Boom, right there, the Lindros Flyers Nike jersey. You might recognize this from a few videos ago. I picked it up at a thrift store. I forget how much I paid, but it ended up selling for 100 bucks. And that is followed by a nice little sweatshirt sale. This University of Illinois sweatshirt sold for $32.50. And LL Bean flannel for $20. A Peter Millar Merino wool sweater for $25. Oh, and this next one's an oldie. This thing has been my inventory for a long, long time. I can just tell by the way the title is worded. This thing has been in there forever, so I took a best offer on this one for only $12. And that's over here in bin A. And it's this basic little Tommy Hilfiger uh, jacket right here. It is an old one. And I mentioned how this is an older listing. It's honestly probably about a two year old listing. I'm more of a list it and forget it kind of person when it comes to my eBay listings. But look how I used to do my titles. I used to put commas in there. I used to put like nice with exclamation point on there to fill up characters. And you might notice the A at the end. And that's how I used to do my inventory system. But now I just put that in the custom field SKU so that the buyers don't see it. And the title just looks a lot more cleaner nowadays. So that is a learning curve. And that just shows my evolution as an eBay seller. And speaking of evolving as a seller, let me tell you about my girlfriend's new venture and how she has grown tremendously over the last two weeks. It has been absolutely wild to watch. So some of you guys know my girlfriend has a full-time job as a candy designer, but she also sells some stuff over on Etsy, just stuff that she has fun making, you know, stuff that she enjoys doing. It's like her little side hustle. But uh, that side hustle absolutely exploded over the last two weeks. And that's because for the holidays, she decided to branch out and try a new selling platform, one that I have zero experience selling on, TikTok. And I'll go into more detail here in just a second about her whole journey because it's, it's wild, but I need to pull a few more orders real quick. The next thing that I need to grab here is one of these Animaniacs puppets. He sold for $27.50. Then I've got this camera lens that ended up selling for $55. This sterling silver and turquoise ring sold for $42. This Xbox game went for 15 bucks. Then we've got a cool pullover sweater. Great brand right there, K-U-H-L, cool. That went for 35. This lot of muscle men went for 10. This Shira figure went for 15. And then we got a jacket going out and it's that yellow one right there. This is a great sale right here. This is an M&M's racing jacket. It's a vintage one. It's got the big M&M's racing on the back. And this guy ended up selling for $125. Now, back to TikTok. So I mentioned that she expanded her business over to TikTok, but how much has it really increased her sales? Well, let me tell you, it's crazy. Since her listings went live over on TikTok shop, her sales have gone from selling five to six items a week over on Etsy to selling over 30 items a day on just TikTok. It has been absolutely wild to see, not only for her, you know, being my girlfriend and me being happy for her that her stuff is blowing up, but for me as a seller to watch from the outside and see someone's shop increase so drastically that we are backed up. Like it's hard for me to help her keep up with the amount of orders that she's getting and to do my stuff and for her to do her full-time job on top of everything else. So that's how many orders are coming in. It has been absolutely 
wild. You just normally don't see that kind of growth. It's kind of crazy to watch. I mean, she hasn't done anything different between Etsy and TikTok. In fact, her prices are even a little bit higher on TikTok because we weren't really sure on how the shipping and the fees worked and stuff yet. Her pictures are the same. Her items are the same. And she hasn't done any, like zero marketing. She hasn't made videos about it. I haven't promoted it all to like blow it up or anything. Like it's been 100% organic, zero advertising, zero promoting. All of her items are just selling and it's, it's crazy. <laughs> and I think it just goes to show just how different marketplaces can be for different items. The items that she's selling should theoretically do really well over on Etsy, but man, they are blowing up on TikTok. Like it might just be a different community of people buying it. Maybe they're just less listings on TikTok, so she's getting more traffic on them. I'm not really sure as to what is currently driving this amount of sales, but it is absolutely mind blowing to watch and see. Anyways, my next couple of items are some more clothing pieces. And this next one here is actually a really, really solid one. It's this Levi's denim vest right here. You can see the label right there. It's just a basic denim vest. And apparently these are discontinued. They're not really making them anymore. So it's a bit rare to find. I ended up paying like five bucks for this at the thrift store two days ago. And it ended up selling for 70 bucks. Then I've got this Orvis flannel that sold for 30. And untuck it button front that went for 18. This awesome little Jurassic Park windbreaker jacket that sold for 45. Dynasty Warriors 5 for 1750. All three of these Pokemon play sets are like little Polly Pockets. Oops, I gotta put that back together. But all three of those sold for 35 bucks a piece. And then a pair of shoes, these Hoka's right here. Now I personally don't sell a lot of shoes. Hoka's like these are something that I'll still pick up, but I just don't enjoy reselling shoes. I don't like finding them. I don't like listing them. I don't like photographing them and I don't like shipping them. So I just kind of avoid them now, even though there's some great money to be made with them. It's just not my favorite thing to resell. However, if you are a new seller and shoes are in abundance in your area, they can be a great money maker and Hoka is a great brand to look for. Now, before I pull the last few items here, I'm sure I'm going to get asked, what is she selling over on TikTok to have this much growth, to make this much money? What is she selling? And the simple answer for that is, I'm not gonna tell you exactly what the items are in this video for a couple reasons. One, one of the items that she's selling is something that is replicatable and I don't want the market to get flooded. The second reason is because even the stuff that she is hand making can be done by other people and I just don't wanna spoil that niche for her right now. And three, I know if I tell you what the item is, you'll be able to find it really easy. Or if I just tell you her shop name, you guys will blow up her shop because you guys are awesome and like to support me in that way. But honestly, we just, we can't handle any more orders than what she's doing right now because she does still have a full-time job and with 30 orders a day already, I'm already having to step in and help with the shipping and helping with some of the processing and stuff. It's just, it's just not something that we can handle at this time. But isn't that wild? Like going from five or six orders a week to 30 plus a day, and it's not just one day. I mean, this is consistently $30 every single day since the items have been listed. It has been going wild. And I just wanted to put this out there because a lot of people think that reselling is dead or selling in general is a flooded market and it's not. If you find a niche that does really well, you can have your shop literally blow up overnight and my girlfriend's shop is a prime example. Like I watched it happen over the last two weeks and it has been amazing to see. And hopefully this knowledge in this video is inspiring at least one of you guys out there to go out and try something new. Try something different with your business. Have you been thinking about trying a different platform or selling a new product or creating a new product? Go out there and try it because that might be the catalyst that you need for your, grit, your business to just explode. And with that being said, let's go ahead and pull the last few eBay orders I have. I've got this pair of Affliction swim trunks right here that ended up selling for 25 bucks. Next is a little G.I. Joe Sergeant Slaughter sold for 32. Then up top right here, we've got this brand new vintage Chicago Bears Super Bowl beanie and that sold for 20 bucks, 25 bucks, my bad. And finally, over here in Bin H, I sold this official Adidas Youth Kobe Bryant jersey for $80. Pretty happy with that. 
Anyways, now I gotta go and get this stuff packed up and get the stuff back out to the post office, the second post office trip of the day. So I've got some work to do. And that is going to be where the video ends. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Hopefully it inspired some of you guys and hopefully somebody goes out there and tries something different with their business. If you have ever tried selling on TikTok or tried selling something on a different platform and it absolutely worked out for you, let me know in the comments. Actually, let me know if you guys have done anything specifically new that has triggered a drastic increase in your sales. I would love to hear what has worked out for you guys. And who knows, maybe you'll help somebody else out in the comments too. Either way, thank you guys all for watching. And as always, if you want to support me, please go down low, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button to see more content just like this. Otherwise, I will catch you later. Till next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.